Why should we fast? What is the importance of the holy month of Ramadan? If you want to know about these two questions, stay with us till the end of this video. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Imam Hussein online seminary. In this video, inshallah, we're going to answer two of the very important questions about fasting and about the holy month of Ramadan. Here we are in the presence of Shaykh Rouhani. I really welcome him. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh, and welcome to our program. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bismillah rahman ar rahim uh, First of all, I should offer my congratulations. Uh, to the brothers and sisters on the coming of the holy month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. I hope that uh, this month will be a very good opportunity for all of us to inshallah worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to purify ourselves and to inshallah get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah. Uh, dear Shaykh, uh, some of the questions that our brothers and sisters usually ask and uh, they are amongst the most important ones about uh, the holy month of Ramadan and about the fasting. So inshallah we'll um, uh, use from your knowledge inshallah and uh, get some answers uh, for these questions. One of the questions is actually why should we fast? To answer your question, uh, I should mention first of all this important point that uh, fasting in this holy month of Ramadan, as our brothers and sisters know, is mandatory, mandatory. is obligatory um, on all Muslims uh, to fast. Mm -hmm. That is why we fast in this holy month of Ramadan to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it the only reason that uh, it's because wajib, it's because it's mandatory, we have to fast or no there is like a rational or a, re a reason behind it because it's it might not be for a, a young muslim it might not be kind of sufficient answer mm -hmm. uh, yeah if there is any other reason yes of course you know there is always rational mm -hmm. uh, behind the divine commandments or yeah. the islamic rituals and ahkam uh, but the point is that uh, can we understand the real reason? Exactly, I mean yeah? This, yeah, exactly. The truth uh, behind it. Uh, mm -hmm. It seems that we, we, we are not able to understand that, what the real, the real uh, let's say, the reason behind it. Mm -hmm. But uh, as our theologians, as our ulama and scholars uh, mentioned in their works, that we can understand the hikmah. Of, of ahkam, mm -hmm. which means the wisdom behind the, wisdom the hukum. hukum. Or we can say also some of the benefits, some of the interests uh, that lays in this ahkam. Yeah. Uh, that is why if you want to look at uh, to ahkam from this perspective to understand some of the wisdom behind them, some of the mm -hmm. rational behind them, mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the whole universe. Of At the same time, uh, he has a goal, a, pers a purpose, mm -hmm. an objective, you know, for this for the creation. creation. Mm -hmm. Particularly for the creation of the mankind, you know. Yeah. So it seems that our life has a purpose. We, we live in this world not on pap not not without any purpose yeah purposeless it means there is a reason and there is a relationship between fasting which is obligatory and our purpose purpose of life yeah with our life yes with of course life, yeah. of course yes to live a better life in this world uh -huh. and to enjoy a perfect life in the hereafter yeah, could it, could you make it to, clear yes of course why not so our life is like a journey mm -hmm. but uh, the important point is that we should understand that okay uh, how should we live in this world, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Suppose that uh, you are in a ship, ship yeah. is in the ocean and yeah. it's moving. You just accidentally you find yourself inside the ship mm -hmm. and ship is moving. Yeah. Our life is like this. When we come to this world, we are exactly like the one who once kind of uh, yeah, find wandering. himself in an ocean <laughs> yeah. and there's a ship, it's moving. Yeah. Now the question is that, okay, now wh what should I do? Yeah. You know, uh, to what, for example, direction I should guide this or I should, let's say, lead this uh, ship? Yeah. Toward what way I should go? Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's already moving, going. Yeah, of course. And I have to direct it. Mm -hmm. I have to lead it into the right path. Mm -hmm. 
This is the very important question. Mm -hmm. The Islamic rituals, the Islamic ahkam, uh, help us to find the right way, mm -hmm. you know, to move into the right way. Uh -huh. Why? To get that final objective that we have for uh -huh. our life. So what is exactly that final objective? Very important question and very nice question. That do we have any objective? Is yeah. there any purpose it is a for this life or life is yeah, something yeah. meaningless and something mm -hmm. purposeless? Uh, first of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation is purposeful. Mm -hmm. and Based on wisdom. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And for our lives, there is, was, there is wisdom, there is, uh, let's say, purpose and meaning for this life. Yeah. But the question is that what could it be? What could be that uh, the, purpose? The purpose, exactly. As, 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 purpose. Is, as it is your question. Yeah. And not only your question, many, many of yeah, A lot of young yeah, Muslims. Yeah, they always uh, ask this question, question that, okay, exactly. why should we, for example, perform fasting? And what is the reason? What is the rationale behind it? Does it have anything to do with our lives or not? Yeah, any benefits, any advantages? Yeah, exactly. Or, exactly. <clears throat> or, or it, it's just an obligatory action? Yeah. When it comes to that final purpose of life, mm -hmm. uh, as it is uh, mentioned in many of the riwayat, the hadith, and also the, uh, according to the viewpoints of many Muslim scholars, uh, the best definition for that uh, purpose is perfection. Perfection. Yes. Yeah. Every Come one on. of us, yeah, each one of us in this life, mm -hmm. try to perfect ourselves. You know? This is what, uh, we, yeah. what we try to achieve in our life. Exactly. For example, the one who is, uh, for example, seeking knowledge. Knowledge. Every yeah. day he tries to add to his knowledge. Because of what? Because he feels that it perfects him. Yeah, it gives him more and more. Exactly. Or the one who is seeking money. Money. Or wealth. Yes. Every day he tries to add to mm -hmm. his money, to his wealth. Yes. To make more money. To make more money. Why? Yeah. Because it's a kind of perfection for him. But there is something like people usually look for pleasures. Exactly. For exactly. enjoyment. Right. Yeah. They, they are, I think they might not care about perfection, but mm -hmm. if there is any relationship between perfection and pleasure... Yes, of course. Again, a, a very significant question came to your mind. Yeah. That is, okay, what is the relationship between pleasure, enjoyment, mm -hmm. And that perfection. that perfection, because naturally we uh, always try to enjoy more enjoyment and, and more, more pleasures. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is what we pursue in our life. Yeah. But uh, the point is that exactly there is a very close and logical relationship between pleasure and perfection. Uh -huh. You know why? How? Uh -huh. Look, the one who is adding to his knowledge, the one who is yeah adding to his tharwa, to his wealth, wealth and money. Mm -hmm. The one who is adding to his power, mm -hmm. you know? So, does he enjoy or not? Well, that, uh, yeah, of course. Of course. It, it is. It is hard to gain more and more money. But this but, hardship itself mm -hmm. is enjoyable. Yeah. You know? Or, yeah, for example, exactly. it, is, it is difficult to get, for example, higher degrees yeah like for example phd i don't know master yeah. you have to tolerate a lot of difficult yeah, yeah, times of course yeah. but at the same time the one who is achieving more knowledge he is at the same time enjoying though he has a lot of challenges exactly yeah. so enjoyment or pleasure is not something uh away from for example perfection 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 mm -hmm. means to get more and more pleasures uh -huh. to get more and more enjoyment Okay? Great. Great. So now, when it comes to, uh, from the Islamic perspective, when it comes to fasting. Uh, uh, so fasting has a relationship with pleasure. <clears throat> that is the thing that I'm going to uh -huh. try to explain. Okay. In this way that uh, we as human beings, we naturally, or fitratan, according to the Holy Quran, our fitra, our nature, mm -hmm. is like that, that we always try to to get and gain more and more power, power. more and more knowledge, yeah. more and more life, more mm -hmm. and more wealth, all these things. Yeah. We are trying to achieve them. Yes. But the problem is that our life is limited and the sources that we have in this material universe is like also limited. 80 years, yeah. 70 years. That is why without believing in the hereafter life, 
mm-hmm. without understanding the hereafter life, this life would become ironic for each yeah. one of us. Yeah. At the end of the day, we would ask ourselves, okay, what did I gain? I still, I'm need. still thirsty. Yeah, yeah, I need more pleasure. I need more pleasures. But I can't. But life ends. Yeah. You know? Exactly. This is the very problem that uh, our lives might suffer mm-hmm. without, uh, without, without, without having that spiritual phase of life. Spirituality. Mm-hmm. The holy month of Ramadan helps us or fasting in this holy month helps us to get more and more close to get closer and closer to the unlimited source of pleasure you mean allah almighty allah right? subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa unlimited source of knowledge mm-hmm. unlimited source of hayat life how does it do this how does fasting mm-hmm. act mm-hmm. this way you know when we fast uh-huh. we say qurbatan ila allah qurbatan ila allah right? what does qurbatan ila allah mean Qurba comes from taqarrub. Yeah. Getting taqarrub, closer to yeah, Allah. Yeah. Taqarrub to something means closeness to that thing. Uh-huh. Nearness to that thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Why do we say qurbatan ila Allah? Because we want to get more and more closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the absolute beauty. Mm-hmm. You know? The absolute perfection. The absolute knowledge. Sure. The absolute life. The unlimited source of all the beauties that we are seeking in this world. Of course. So then, the one who is guided to the right path to go towards that source. Oh, he needs to take these steps. Is like, exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. So fasting is one of them. Yes. Uh-huh. We need to do something. That is why fasting is for the benefit of us. Uh, there is like... Um, our brothers might not like uh, during the day we suffer a lot of di- challenges like we get hungry we get thirsty we might have a difficult time so i don't think we really enjoy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so as, as i mentioned for example suppose that you love something yeah okay. you know for the youth mm-hmm. when you love something or someone you try your best uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. to achieve that yeah yeah you know but all these uh let's say attempt yeah yeah that you make the efforts that and efforts that you make all of them are enjoyable yeah. it, it's like this that for example there is someone that you love him a lot okay you know each step that you put forward towards to that beloved one uh-huh. is it enjoyable or not yeah even the challenges exactly <laughs> in farsi there's a nice exactly. poem that says that در بیابان گر به شوق کعبه خواهی زد قدم سرزنش ها گر کند خار مغیلان غم مخور yeah because all the difficulties all the challenges that you might face he will always tell himself yeah, no worries no worries towards, towards Kaaba yeah exactly but nice all of each each one of these uh, let's say steps that yeah. you put forward is enjoyable uh-huh. you're enjoying but you know, the earthly love is this, that finally it ends when you reach to that place. Uh-huh. You, it, it will end to that one or to that thing. Yeah. But love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is endless. Uh-huh. The more you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more you get closer to the unlimited source of beauty. Uh-huh. And it means that if, if the purpose is clear for you, like even getting thirsty, suffering, like difficulties during the days of the holy month of Ramadan, they will be enjoyable for you. Exactly. If, if the purpose exactly. is clear. Based on, uh-huh. on the fact that you should correct, first of all, your worldview, uh, the, yeah, your understanding, exactly. your perception, mm-hmm. you know. The problem is that sometimes we do not understand that, for example, there is a mountain. On the top of this mountain, there is, for example, diamond. Diamond, okay. And we are trying to get that. The problem is that we do not see the diamond. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. If you see the diamond, if you see the diamond, then of course, all the difficulties and the hardships that you may yeah. suffer, it will be enjoyable. You more enjoy. Yeah, of course. That, this that, that is the reason. That's a nice example. Yeah, this is the reason. So, our life, we are not sure whether we live till the next Ramadan or Ramadan not. Ramadan or not, yeah. But this Ramadan is the, maybe the final golden opportunity for each one of us mm-hmm. to put forward more and more steps to get closer and closer to that source, to Inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah. Yeah, this is the reason. Uh, it is a kind of, let's say, philosophical explanation. But to look at these uh, 
issue from social perspective. Uh -huh. You know, uh, in our social life, again, uh, we have lots of things, uh, well, lots of benefits in, in fasting. In fasting. Like, for example, what? Like, for example, it gives us unity. Uh -huh. It makes the Muslim Ummah as united Ummah. The more well, you're uni united, the yes. more you're powerful. Exactly. The more you're respected. Exactly. Uh, what does it have to do with fasting? Like, for example, you see exactly. that all Muslims, uh -huh. all Muslims, fasting in this holy month, gathering and uh. the prayer. You know, like a unit, like a united ummah nation. United ummah, united. It's very exactly. beautiful. It's yeah. very beautiful, and also in this month, rich and poor. Uh -huh. You know, the youth, the youth and the elderly. Yeah, yeah. And let's say the white, black, whatever, different Whoever kind is of a Muslim, yeah, they all the same. fasting the same. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it is. It it gives us a very beautiful sense. Yeah. That we are the same. We are, the same. we are, and also it gives to the enemies of Muslims uh, a, a, a message. Mm -hmm. that they are united. They are powerful. They are strong. Exactly. They are in a very high level of spirituality, understanding. Understanding. That's important. Yeah. Or, for example, when you are hungry in this holy month, yeah. you think of oh. the other poor people, the needy, the poor. Yeah. You and then you try to help them, you try to understand better them. Better sense them, yeah, understand yeah, them, yeah. You see that in this holy month, millions of people are served yeah. by iftari, by yeah, kind exactly, of breakfast, exactly, you can say. Exactly. The most important point is that the benefit is this, that when you try to control yourself in this holy month, uh -huh. you control your bad desires, desires your evil exactly, desires. Yeah. This it is, is like very that. much important because we, we need mm. this in, in our lives. Jihad al-Nafs. Exactly. Jihad al -nafs. Which is the highest level of jihad, which is the jihad major jihad. Yeah. It is a kind of major jihad mm -hmm. that you try to control our tongue. Yeah. Do not spread, for example, gossip. Yeah. Do not backbite. Yeah. Yeah? Do not curse. Yes. We exactly. try to control our eyes. Yeah, exactly. Not to see each and everything, to see bad things, wrong things. Yeah. Uh, Try to control our ear. You yeah, know, based not on hear. medical science, I think it has been proved like uh, fasting is so much, brings health yeah, to the body. At least, at least we can say that for this, for example, thousands of years that millions of people fast. Yeah. So that there was no health problem for these people. Yeah, exactly. You know, at least it is healthy. proven that there is no health problem. Yeah. Even if, even if some people, for example, may cast doubt on this point that okay, yeah. it might not be useful health for the health. At least it is not harmful. Mm -hmm. Muslims live yeah, exactly. tens of years, yeah. not for one century, for fourteen centuries uh, before yeah. Islam. Many other nations hold fast that there is no problem. It's yeah, Sheikh, uh, if you look at deeper into like uh, Islamic uh, teachings, is there any verse of the Quran? or any hadith that talks about the whole exactly. thing. It was, exactly. Um, all what we talked about, all yeah. the points that were mentioned up to now, was like an introduction. Uh -huh. An introduction for what? For the final explanation should be mentioned from the Holy Quran. Uh -huh. Yes, and the Holy Quran, as you see, it is mentioned that شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. So one of the benefits of uh, the holy month of Ramadan, which makes it more important, should be is what, what you mentioned. is نزول القرآن. Ah, the revelation. Why? Of the Why? Because that path, that way towards perfection, towards that, towards Allah subhanahu wa taala, that we find Final in our objective. life. Yeah? yeah, to guide this journey into the right way, mm -hmm. is Quran. Quran. Quran is the book of guidance. Yes. Without Quran, we are not able to find the way. Exactly. Exactly. That is why one of the really, really important thing, even that happened in this holy month, is the revelation of the Quran. Yeah. Nuzul al Quran, and also psalm or fasting that is kutiba alaykum as-salam in this holy month. It is because of this that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala loves us. Mm -hmm. Kutiba alayna as Why? Yeah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us. Like a mother who tries to get the baby. Baby. You know? Mm -hmm. The mother tries to share love. Yeah, to, to, to help the baby as much as possible in whatever way that possible to get the baby closer to herself. You yeah. know? That is why fasting is a kind of a kind of mahabba, a kind of mercy, uh -huh. a kind of a manifestation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy okay. in the universe. Because by the help of these things, we can get closer to that 
the unlimited source of beauty, which is again for the benefit of us because that beauty is himself the beauty. Yeah, exactly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is self-sufficient, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. It does not need to anything. That's why it's mandatory because it is useful for our exactly. life. Exactly. Yeah, yes. the perfection that we want to gain. Yes. It is useful. Yes, of course. Uh, thank you so much, Sheikh. Um, I really have now a better understanding, alhamdulillah, by your explanation. Uh, really give thanks to you. And if there is any final uh, message uh, to our brothers and sisters who have been with us till now, we really give thanks to them. And Yes, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, we should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for exactly. giving us this chance to be alive in this holy month. Yeah. And to have this opportunity to share something about month of Ramadan, about fasting with our friends. Yeah, exactly. It is a mercy, it is a rahmah, it is a ni'mah. Yeah. It is a great bounty and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should only thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, our friends, our brothers and sisters, if they had some questions, points mm -hmm. about these clips that we are making, uh, they can share with us. We will be enjoying, inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you so much, Shaykh. May Allah bless you, inshallah. We really ask you to include us in your du'as, inshallah. Thank you so much. Uh, I really uh, appreciate that. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for being with us, inshallah. And the um, next videos, we'll be here with you to uh, explain some of the ahkam, some of the other uh, questions about the holy month of Ramadan. Thank you so much for being with us. If you had any questions, uh, don't hesitate to share with us. Inshallah, we'll be here with you.